The chair of the nation's second biggest party had some strong words for the president in his New Year's speech, blaming the Moon administration for the confusion in society. Meanwhile, an internal feud continues at the center-left People's Party, which could alter the dynamics of the domestic political arena. Kim Minji gets us up to speed with the developments in the opposition realm. The main opposition Liberty Korea Party claims the Moon administration's left-wing nationalism as a cult is weighing down the country. Speaking at a New Year's press conference on Monday, party chair Hong Jun-pyo pointed to North Korea's participation in next month's PyeongChang Olympics, especially the fielding of a joint women's ice hockey team as a clear example. Despite the South Korean hockey players' years of effort, tears and sweat, this government, with its policy of fielding a joint team, has deprived them of an opportunity. So these are the fruits of this so-called nationalism. You get to sacrifice yourself for the country. The government did not consult with the Korean people before deciding to host musical performances by North Korea or to have our athletes enter the Olympics without the South Korean flag or national anthem. The Conservative Party has been highly critical of the ongoing inter-Korean talks to get North Korea to participate in the Winter Games, labeling it the Pyongyang Olympics. It ramped up its criticism after the regime abruptly called off a trip by its officials to inspect performance venues in the south, which it later rescheduled. Hung said that the local elections in June will be a chance to put the brakes on what it called the tyranny of the liberal government and protect the people's livelihoods. Meanwhile, the country's third largest party is still grappling with its own internal feud. While the leadership of the center-left People's Party and the center-right Patton Party gear up for a merger, dissenters are raising the stakes. A total of 18 lawmakers said they would create a new party if members vote to go through with a merger at a national convention next month. But the People's Party leader is holding firm. This is preposterous. They can do all they want to show their opposition to the merger. And as party chair, I can accept their criticism. However, what they cannot do is prepare to start another party while they are already part of one. I will have to take action in response according to party regulations. It remains to be seen how a merger will affect the political landscape, either leading to the creation of a new centrist force or possibly adding to the ranks of the two main parties if some lawmakers choose to defect. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.